Hi everyone, Sean Connolly here for Rebrandly, and today I'm going to take you through the process of adding UTM parameters to the links you share. So first up, we'll start with a piece of content based on our site, which of course we also have connected to Google Analytics, and uh, this allows us to track the effectiveness of the UTM parameters once they're added in. We're going to use this post that just went up on our blog. So first of all, we're going to take the long link up here and rebrand that. We use rebrandly.blog for blog posts, so we'll choose that and name it something fitting. Now, we want to add our relevant parameters. Let's do this by clicking on the UTM option at the end of the link bar. You'll then see the UTM builder options pop right up. There are five UTM parameters you have to choose from in the Rebrandly UTM builder, as you can see here. Uh, you can choose to either fill them all out or leave any or all blank. In this example, we are using the three main UTM parameters, source, medium, and campaign. There's also the option to choose from any UTM parameter presets that you may already have set up. For today, let's call the source Twitter. Make sure when typing these that they are all in lower case. For medium, we'll say Rebrandly-post. And then for campaign, let's go with video marketing blog post. Once I have those filled in, I just click done. And there we go. If you check out the destination URL here, we can see the UTM parameters have been automatically generated and added to our link. So now we have our link with our UTM parameters all set to go. I might also want to let the rest of my team know that this link is specifically for sharing on Twitter. So I'll maybe also change the slash tag to add a T to indicate that as well. This also means you can create separate links with separate UTM parameters for different social channels, which is super quick and easy to do with the presets. If you want to change any of the presets, by the way, all you have to do is click into the link again and do just that. It will automatically change the UTM parameters from your old selection to your new, so no need to alter that yourself. After that, our link is now saved and ready to go. Once that's done, we can see that when you click the link from the tweet itself, it brings us to the blog post with the UTM parameters in the URL. Now, why do those UTM parameters matter? Let's head over to Google Analytics to check it out. You'll see here a glimpse at how our analytics and campaigns are set up. So if I click on reporting, acquisition, all campaigns, this is where our campaign name will show up. The one we've just posted will show up tomorrow, but let's take a look at one that was already set up. We can see the different source and mediums here, all the different places our traffic is coming from. We'd be able to see what sources brought us what kind of business, which ones resulted in creating a new account, essentially using the detailed info we're given to develop our strategy from there. So there we go. That is how you add UTM parameters to your branded short links, share them on social media and track them through Google Analytics. This is a super handy way to differentiate between the traffic you drive on your channels or somebody else sharing on theirs. So to recap, you rebrand the link you wish to share, click on the UTM button, add a preset or use our UTM builder to create your own new parameters, click done to save, share your links on the relevant channels, log in to Google Analytics and check the results of your traffic. And that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial guys. Do be sure to let us know in the comments below if you found it helpful or useful. And if so, why not give Rebrandly a like and subscribe as well. As always, it is appreciated. Do be sure to watch other tutorial videos linked here on screen or in the description as well. And uh, take care until next time.